Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Inside Leathernecks. I'm your host, Nick Spinozzi. Today, we are with WIU men's golf head coach, Mel Blasey. Mel, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Coach, why don't we start by telling me a little bit about yourself? Uh, well, I'm uh, uh, 46 years old, I guess. Maybe you don't want to know that, but I have a family, young family here in town, a wife and three children. I've been coaching here at the university for 13 years, and I'm also a graduate of Western Illinois 1987. This is your 13th year coaching, 12th or 13th? 13th year back in, at Western, and um, I, I coached a couple of years right out of college, so uh, it's nice to be here in Macomb and at Western. Now, you were, the team was picked to finish eighth in the Summit League preseason polling. You think the team will exceed these early expectations with such a young roster? Uh, well, it's kind of hard to tell. You know, the the ranking system is based on the fall results, and you know we have a very young team, very inexperienced team to start the year, and I think that uh, we'll play much better the spring, just having known uh, who's going to be playing and a little more experience under our belt. And so I look forward to uh, the competition. I'm not sure about exceeding expectations, but uh, we're, we're obviously going to do our best. Now the team finished. 10th, tied with 11th place with Boise State in the Pat Hicks Thunderbird Invitational. How do you think the team did there? Well, you know, it's the first first term of the year. Um, we've been playing in February now for, I think, this is our eighth year, and you never know what to expect there. But we really had some bright bright spots in that tournament. Uh, Andrew Godfrey played very well. Um, Kurt Slattery, who's a you know transfer at the semester, he played very well too. And some of the young guys um, did fine. Car, uh, Car, uh, let's see, Conrad Decca had 72 in the last round. Um, so we had some bright spots. Uh, the finish wasn't as high as what we'd hoped, but uh, we try not to take those things into consideration too highly at this point in the year. Now, you have no <laughs> returning seniors on the team. In your coaching career, have you had to deal with anything like that before with such a young roster that doesn't get to play, uh, that hasn't played that much? Well, I, don't, I, I think it's more than just no seniors on the team. Uh, we lost a lot of experience, too. And so a lot of the players that we have, this is their first collegiate experience. I mean, it's different to, to not have seniors is one thing, but to be going into the season knowing that you really didn't have anybody that had played the golf courses, that really wasn't used to playing at the Division One level. Those things are, you know, there's no substitute for experience. And um, I expect us to be a lot better just because of those things. The team travels a lot and they're on the road for quite some time. How do the students keep up with their schoolwork? Well, it's difficult, and I think golf is probably as challenging as any of the sports because, you know, when we play on the road, uh, the first day is typically a 36-hole round. Um, that's 10 hours of being on the golf course. You're completely wiped out, and it's tough to keep up. But, you know, they have uh, the computers. They, they stay with them, and they work on projects together. A lot of times they're in class together so they can – kind of help each other out in terms of assignments and tests and things like that. So, um, you know, typically I've had good students on the team, and this year is no exception. We have great kids that work hard, and, and they do their best in the classroom. This Friday, the team goes on the road to compete in the Pinehurst Intercollegiate Tournament. What do you expect to come out? Do you expect to come out with a victory? Uh, well, that's a very uh, difficult field. I mean, there's, I think, three Big Ten schools there. Um, UNC Wilmington's ranked 52. A lot of good mid-major schools are there, and so you know I think that we have our work cut out for us in terms of winning the tournament. But you know our schedule is very demanding, and um, I think that that pays off for us in the in the Summit League at the end. So you know I expect us to, to continue to improve. I'm not going to put any predictions on how we finish, but um, obviously Pinehurst is a great place to be. The golf course is a, a great challenge for us. The kids will um, really get a great experience out of being at Pinehurst. How much of an advantage would you say the team has when it competes in the Bu Mazzato Invitational? Well, I think playing our home course is a big advantage because uh, the golf course is very challenging. It's got some holes on it that um, you really need to play a few times and, and get some experience on. The greens are very challenging, difficult, a lot of slope. So it is a big advantage, although uh, we have some very difficult schools coming. Um, Oakland in our conference is doing very well this year. Wisconsin Green Bay has a great team. So, um, you know, our guys are looking forward to it. It's an opportunity to play at home and to have home course, uh, call it advantage if you want to, but uh, we're looking forward to playing at home. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, just that, you know, uh, there's no admission to come and watch the golf team play. Um, the tournament is March 28th and 29th, and uh, we'd like to see everybody out there and, and um, wishing the Leathernecks well. So. 
Thank you, Coach. Thank you. With another edition of Inside Leathernecks, I'm your host, Nick Spinozzi. Go next. <laughs>